So, this expedition left Antwerp on the 16th of August 1897 um, and it for discovering of the magnetic south pole. And they did so because the Antarctic was quite an unknown region at the moment, it was quite a blind spot on the world map. Um, because of several reasons, they didn't manage to uh, go in search of the magnetic pole, but they did manage to map some unknown um, regions of the Antarctic. The, uh, some uh, recent research on both uh, animals, plants, and so on, and eventually they ended up stuck in the ice, which wasn't uh, the plan as well. But this year long stuck in the ice made them um, make year round observations of both the, the climate and the weather and so on, which make it, makes it quite uh, early data sets of uh, scientific research. Well, the expedition, uh, the Belgian expedition, was actually a project of um, Adrien Gerlach, who was an officer, and he had a specific job on uh, the Belgian ships, but he longed for something more special, more uh, further away. And he once got to the plan to have an expedition towards the Antarctic. And he, he managed to do so after finding the right amount of money, the right people, the right ship. He managed to do so and leave Antwerp. For his expedition. We, we do have several beautiful pieces, I think, both of the ship, the crew, and so on, but also we are showing here on display. Animals or plants that have been brought back from the Antarctic more than 25 years ago. And among these is a, a small species ex exhibition, is a 3mm large uh, midge in Belgica Antarctica, which has been named after the expedition. And this was one of these new species that was discovered, which makes it special, also because it's the largest land animal, uh, <laughs> which is a bit strange, but this uh, midge has no wings, which makes it the last living animal on the Antarctic land. It's going to put the special pieces on this exhibition. But we do try to bring the exhibition quite a personal view of the Belgica crew. We do have quite, uh, quite some diaries and so on which tell their story about uh, festivities but also uh, mourning for their comrades they lost during the expedition. Uh, what we have in the exhibition is, is a small uh, music box which they brought uh, just to cheer up the dark days in the Antarctic. And in one diary they mentioned a festive evening where they all drank a bit and the music at some, at some point turned out to be quite off and they uh, put the music book in a different way on this music box which had them all astonished about what, what they hear. I've actually made this, uh, some uh, recordings of this, uh, <laughs> this music book in the wrong way this is in the exhibition. We, we do have uh, amazing uh, image material from this exhibition and they actually brought one of the first image series of the Antarctic uh, back, back from the Antarctic. And that's both uh, pictures from Cook, who did medicine, but also others brought in pictures. And these pictures are actually spread out and found pictures in our own collection, but also <laughs> neighboring countries, the family of the crew. Uh, but the photos are astonishing. They show, it's really, the images are really sharp, they show, really show the story of the position they I think it's no coincidence that we're opening this exhibition right now, uh, because this expedition.
tradition, doesn't look for type of tradition. Uh, yeah, Rachel was 125 years ago, uh, so which makes it quite an anniversary today for the tradition. And this anniversary is for the occasion to take out the collection the pieces we still have of this expedition. So it will be uh, the equipment of the, of the crew, but also uh, pieces of the ship itself. You know. So right now there's, there's several tens of uh, research stations still at the Antarctic and Belgium is one of them. It's, it's quite a special one because it's one of the only one that is really self-sufficient. But yes indeed, uh, Belgium has been active in the research on the Antarctic and it still is up to date.